Welcome to Comparative VPN YouTube channel. Today's video will be a full, in-depth Surfshark vs CyberGhost comparison that will tell you which is a better VPN for the money. If you're looking for a cheap yet reliable VPN, chances are that CyberGhost and Surfshark are on your wish list. To be honest, these are the best cheap VPNs you can get and price-wise they will cost you similarly, making it even harder to choose one. That's why today I will compare their applications, performance, security, pricing, servers and support to see which is a better VPN for the price. This this isn't going to be a short 3 minute comparison and I will go into some details about them which I think you'll definitely appreciate. Before I start my Surfshark vs Express EPN comparison, I just want you to remind you to like this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to remain notified whenever we publish a new useful video like this one. Ok, so let me first compare both VPN's device support and ease of use. First things first. Both Surfshark and CyberGhost support a tremendous number of devices and platforms. You can install both of them on your Windows, Mac or Linux PC, Android or iOS smartphones, routers, gaming consoles, smart TVs, Fire Stick TV, etc, etc. However, Surfshark is a slight edge over CyberGhost. Actually not very slight because it supports unlimited simultaneous connections in one account, whereas CyberGhost limits your simultaneous connections to 7. But what about applications? How easy they are to use? Well, I'm using both VPNs on my Windows PC and I can tell you that they look and feel good to use. Surfshark is slightly better for me because it looks better and is slightly easier to get around. Connecting to the server of your choice takes one click and two clicks in CyberGhost. But I like Surfshark's settings menu more. All security features can be found in two menus, connectivity and advanced, and you don't have to wander around the application to find a kill switch, add blocker or switch to another VPN protocol. In CyberGhost, the security features are buried in the privacy settings, smart rules and this gear icon where you can find several sub-menus. It's all a bit confusing. In this menu, you can switch the protocol and enable IPv6 leak protection and in the privacy settings there's an ad blocker and a kill switch. As I said, a bit confusing, especially because an ad blocker is for some reason in these privacy settings, which for me doesn't make any sense. Don't get me wrong, CyberGhost is easy enough to use and it looks decent on all platforms. However, I just think that Surfshark is a better and more logical interface and looks a tiny bit better and more modern than CyberGhost. Not to mention unlimited simultaneous connections that simply make Surfshark a winner of this round. Let's now talk about security. Free and insanely cheap VPNs are known for lacking in this department, but this is not the case with Surfshark and CyberGhost. In this Surfshark vs CyberGhost comparison, we examined both VPNs and came to the conclusion that these are some of the most secure VPNs you can get. Some security features are shared between the two services, including 256-bit encryption, split tunneling, kill switch, IPv6 and DNS leak protection, and even WireGuard support. Yes, WireGuard is present in both VPNs and is here to improve performance, speeds and connection times drastically, which many users will value. Furthermore, I like the presence of ad blocker in both VPNs. In CyberGhost it's called only an ad blocker and in Surfshark it has this fancy name, CleanWeb. CyberGhost has more features as well. For instance, there are no spy servers independently operated by CyberGhost for improved security and privacy. Surfshark, on the other hand, has multi-hop servers for doubling your level of encryption. Moreover, Surfshark has these bonus features you see, but you need to pay for them additionally, about $1.5 a month. This package even includes an antivirus and true incognito mode and is generally a great addition. CyberGhost offers only dedicated IP as a bonus package and I would say that it's useful as well if you want your own private IP address. One thing where Surfshark beats CyberGhost is the presence of this no borders mode. This allows Surfshark to bypass DPI or deep packet inspections in censored countries, allowing this VPN to work in China where CyberGhost sadly won't work. In terms of logging practices, both VPNs have strict no logging policies. This means that neither of them will store your IP address, DNS requests, geolocation and browsing history on their servers. In Surfshark, this is backed up by an external audit from Cure53 which CyberGhost doesn't have. However, CyberGhost does something unique. It actually publishes transparency reports every 3 months, outlining every bit of information requested from the VPN, from the authorities of course, in which you can see that it doesn't give out any such information to anyone. Actually, it doesn't have this information to begin with. We also must mention that both VPNs reside in privacy friendly jurisdictions. Surfshark is based in the British Virgin Islands and CyberGhost is based in Romania and neither of these countries have mandatory data retention laws making them suitable for a VPN service. So overall, it's hard to decide which VPN is safer and more secure when both of them do a phenomenal job at keeping your connection and online presence private. Therefore, this round of the Surfshark vs CyberGhost comparison is a draw and both VPNs get 1 point, making it 2-1 for Surfshark.
In this part of the Surfshark vs Cybergoes duel, I must perform a series of streaming tests to determine which VPN is a better choice for unblocking geo-restricted streaming platforms. For this test, as always, I will use Netflix US and BBC iPlayer. Since I'm not from the US, as you can obviously hear, I searched for the movie Batman The Killing Joke on Netflix, which is available exclusively in the United States, and as expected, I cannot find it. Now, let's move to BBC iPlayer. For example, let's try to watch this show. And as expected, I get a geo restriction message because I'm not located in the UK, and of course, I cannot watch anything on this website. And with that in mind, let's try to unblock Netflix US first by using Surfshark. I will connect to the server in the United States now, and after that, I will refresh the page on Netflix to see if I can find the movie. After doing that, as you can see, the movie appears right here, which should mean that Netflix US works. But let's try to watch it. And as expected, the movie really works, but I must blur the footage to prevent any potential copyright issues. I'm now connected to the VPN server in the UK with Surfshark, so of course, let's try to unblock BBC iPlayer. Let me refresh the page. And after doing that, as you can see, the geo restriction message is not here, so let me try to watch the show. Once again, the show does work flawlessly, but as I said, I must blur the footage to prevent any copyright claims. Ok, so let's repeat the same process with CyberGhost. As you can see, I'm connected to a dedicated Netflix US server by using CyberGhost. So, with that in mind, let's refresh the page and see if we can find the movie. After doing that, sadly, as you can see, Netflix US doesn't work, even though I'm using a dedicated streaming server for Netflix US. So, let's move on to BBC iPlayer. Once again, I'm connected to a dedicated BBC iPlayer server from CyberGhost, so let me refresh the page now. After doing that, once again, the G restriction message is not here, so let me try to watch the show. And yeah, as expected, the show once again works. With this part of the test out of the way, it's clear that Surfshark beats CyberGhost when it comes to streaming. CyberGhost didn't work with Netflix US even when using a dedicated server for that platform, whereas Surfshark successfully unblocked both platforms with no issues. That being said, Surfshark wins this round. Let's now perform a couple of speed tests to see how fast CyberGhost and Surfshark VPN are. I will start off this speed test by showing you my native internet speeds that you can clearly see on the screen. For the first speed test, I will use the server location close to me, which in this case is Bulgaria, and then I will use the US server to test how well VPNs perform when connecting to long distance servers. Let's start with Surfshark first. As you can see, I have already connected to the VPN server in Bulgaria, so I will go back to the speed test website and initiate the first speed test for today. As you can see now, the results are not that bad and Surfshark VPN actually manages to preserve my speeds and latency to a certain extent. While using the US server from Surfshark, I will go back to the speed test website and initiate the second speed test with this VPN. Now, Surfshark gives me a much larger speed reduction, with my latency going over 170 milliseconds, which to be honest isn't particularly great. Let's move on to CyberGhost now. You can see that I already have a Bulgarian IP address, so in that case, I will go back to the speed test website and initiate the speed test. Ok, so now CyberGhost shows tiny bit better results with lower ping and slightly better speeds, still not enough to make it a winner. However, I am now connected to the VPN server in the US, and after that, I will go back to the speed test website and initiate the final speed test for today. After this test, we can see that CyberGhost actually offers better speeds as well and the difference now is more drastic. The latency is lower as well and both upload and download speeds are more preserved. This means that CyberGhost wins this round and raises the score to 3-2. The next part of the CyberGhost vs Surfshark comparison will talk about servers. Being some of the best VPNs out there, both of them have thousands of servers but CyberGhost simply crushes Surfshark, offering 7400 servers in 90 plus countries globally. Furthermore, in these 7000 servers, there are thousands of dedicated streaming and torrenting servers in place, making it convenient to unblock geo restricted streaming platforms or simply enjoy anonymous and safe torrenting. Surfshark has 3200 servers in 65 countries, not bad, but there aren't any dedicated or special servers except for those multi hop servers I mentioned. This is a nice addition, of course, but even then, Surfshark cannot win this round because it has more than twice the less servers in less countries. So, simply put, we will give this round to CyberGhost, which is the only way, and now the score is 3 3. There are two more rounds to go through, so let's see what will happen. Customer support of CyberGhost and Surfshark is on the top level. You're not paying a top dollar for these VPNs, yet you're getting a top dollar service from both of them. Whatever VPN you're using, you can expect 24 7 live chat support that responds pretty much immediately to your questions and VPN related issues. If you're not in a hurry, you can utilize email support as well, that's surprisingly very quick to respond as well. I like that both VPNs have their YouTube channels too. 
There are countless of helpful videos available and both channels are relatively active. Albeit, Surfshark is significantly more active in recent times, which is great if you love watching videos instead of reading articles on the website. I won't smother you with this part too much. Both VPNs do a good job with customer support, which makes this round a draw and a score 4-4. And now, it's time to talk about the price in this Surfshark vs CyberGhost duel. This is the round that will decide who is going to be a winner. Here's how much Surfshark costs. It's really cheap and you can get it for less than $2.3 a month at the time of making this video. This is its typical 2 year plan with 3 months free on top of that, that usually costs $2.5 a month but is now discounted due to a special deal. Of course, a 30 day money back guarantee is in place and is valid for all subscription plans. What about CyberGhost? Here you go. It's ever so slightly cheaper at $2.17 a month for a 2 year plan with 3 months free on top of that. Paid up front is just $1 cheaper than Surfshark, so you won't save a fortune on their longest plans. However, I must mention that CyberGhost gives you a 45 day money back guarantee for all long term plans including this one, which gives you a much longer testing period than you get with Surfshark. So with that in mind this round can be a draw, but given that CyberGhost is slightly cheaper and offers a longer money back guarantee, it just slightly wins this round and makes the final score 5-4 for the yellow team. Let's summarize and end this CyberGhost vs Surfshark comparison. It was a tough battle, but CyberGhost emerged victorious, albeit by a tiny margin. We found CyberGhost to be faster than Surfshark, it has significantly more servers and offers cheaper subscription plans. Surfshark, on the other hand, has unlimited simultaneous connections, better streaming capabilities and prices that are almost as equally cheap as CyberGhost. So in the end it comes down to your needs. If you need a secure VPN with lots of servers, cheap prices and great speeds, CyberGhost is a way to go. And if you want a VPN VPN for Netflix that's also very secure, cheap and can be used on a limited number of devices at the same time, I would say that Surfshark is for you. With that said, this was all for today's video, I hope you liked it and if you did, make sure you smash the like button below, subscribe to our channel and stick with us because many more useful VPN comparisons like this are coming very soon. See you in the next video, bye!